Welcome to the Mama Bear Den. Remember your headphones. All right, I have gathered most of my ingredients up. Now I just need some sun-kissed mushrooms. Oh wait, what is that strange lump lying on the first floor? Hello, are you all right? Excuse me, are you sleeping? I can say while the ground is a nice place to sleep, I would not recommend it. Oh, oh dear, you're definitely not sleeping. Oh, it seems like you took a bad fall off of your strange contraption. Hmm, I, oh, I do have the ingredients to heal you here, but I do not think that's the wisest thing to do. I hope you do not mind, but... <laughs> You will be coming back with me, so I can properly heal you. Do not worry, I will take your strange contraption with us as well. Alright, that took a bit longer than I expected. But, no worries. Let's take a look at you. Hmm. Oh, you have many scrapes and bruises and scratches all over you. You have a head wound, scraped up elbows and knees. You somehow even managed to scrape up your chin. What on earth were you doing? I wonder if it has anything to do with that strange banged up contraption beside you. I would dare say that your contraption fared a lot better than you did. At least it's not bleeding out. But it does not explain what you are doing so far in my forest. Hopefully you will wake up soon. I have so many questions for you. Hmm. Nothing to it but make some potions to help. <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. You're waking up. That's such a relief. Oh, there. Hey, it's okay. You're safe. Oh, that's a bit rude, don't you think? If you're going to call me ugly, I would suggest you take a good look at yourself. Now you stay right there. I'll bring you a mirror. I don't know the extent of your injuries completely, but... No, what did I say? Do not move. No, I'm sorry. I don't mean to raise my voice at you. I'm not really used to healing your species. What do I mean by that? If I must say it, human. No, I'm most certainly not human. Just because I happen to look similar to one, does not mean I am human. For all you know, this could be a disguise. Then again, you already called me ugly. That was quite hurtful, you know. Perhaps you too need to work on your people skills, hmm? You know, perhaps I should let you suffer in pain. What was this? You're sorry. Fine. I accept your apology. So, if you please, tell me 
What on earth were you doing so deep in my forest? You were bicycling. What on this green earth is a bicycle? Oh, that weird metal thing. What does one do with a bicycle? You ride it. So like a broom then. This bicycle is magical then? I am going to have to confiscate it then. You no longer get to use your bicycle. It belongs to me now. Wait, you mean to tell me that it is not magical? You are being very confusing. Are all humans these days like this, or are you just a special case? Bicycles are a common thing in your society? Well then, I don't want it anymore. Hmm. Look, let us back up. My name is Gwyneth, and I am going to be your healer this fine day. Your caretaker. <laughs> Does it look like I actually care? The only reason you are here is because you were in the middle of my path, the middle of my forest. And you would not move because of your injuries. It's not like I actually care for you. I don't even know your name. No, no, no. Don't actually tell me. I don't really care that much. After all, I will forget it before you even leave. All right, now lay back down. I need to put some ointment on you still. Must you question everything I do? I am beginning to like you better when you are asleep. I am putting this on you so you will stop bleeding on my furniture. Do you have any idea how hard blood is to get out of things? In case you didn't know, blood stains everything. Now, if you will stop moving, please. I might poke you in the eye if you keep moving. And then you will have another reason to start complaining to me. Look, the sooner you stop moving and wiggling around, sooner I can heal you all up. Thank you so very much. There. There, there you go. Now. Now don't touch that for a couple of hours. Yes, I said a couple of hours. Did you suddenly turn into a parrot? That gives you and I plenty of time to prepare you for dinner. Oh yes, dinner. Is it I am going to eat you? Did you really think I was healing you up out of the goodness of my heart? No, I have been preparing you for dinner this entire time. Get it? Because I covered you in herbs. I amuse myself so very much. Mm. Yes, all the ingredients are ready for human soup. There are potatoes, carrots, beans, celery and even radishes and mushrooms 
simmering in that big pot over there. All that is left to do is put a well-seasoned human in that pot and let you roast for a couple of hours. Oh, of course, for the first few minutes I'm sure you'll be screaming your head off, but thankfully for me that should only last a few minutes. Then in a couple of hours you will be all nice and ready to eat. Mm. Oh, oh, you should see your face. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am only messing around with you. The soup part is true, but I'm not going to eat you. I promise. It's just vegetable stew. The stew is for you for later. Those herbs are to heal you. There is no time involved. Shh, it is okay. Calm down. Honestly, I was only teasing. Everything is going to be okay. You are the first guest I've had in a very long time, so I figured I would mess with your head just a little and give you a good story to tell others. And make some stew we could share. No, you are Definitely not going into it. How do you think you would fit in the pot? <laughs> Silly human. I have lived in these woods for over a thousand years. And you are one of the first guests I have entertained that fell for that old ruse. And didn't realize that my pot is barely big enough to fit a rabbit with all that I've put into it, let alone a whole person. Now, I've got some chores to do, and you need some rest. Just relax, and I'll take care of a bit of uh, sweeping and cleaning. If you need anything, I will be right here. I must be a wonderful actress if I fooled you that wonderfully. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Frog stew is not what we're having. 